Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and welcome to another episode of the classic western Cowboy G-Men, and it stars Russell Hayden and Jackie Coogan. It's all brought to you here free online by westernsontheweb.com. Uh, get ready for some action, because here they come. <laughs> They gave me some orders. Oh. Not to be open till I got to Cactus Bend. Oh, sealed this time, huh? Yeah. Well, this is Cactus Bend. Open them up. Oh, do. What's our job this time? Hey, Tony, did you ever hear of anyone sealing off a town with a toll gate? A toll gate? Into a town? <laughs> this sounds too easy. Pat, you take care of it by yourself. I'm going fishing. You're not doing anything of the kind. You're going with me. Take off your hat. It's windy here. Take it off, sir. Write this number in the hat band. All right. 79963. 79963. Three. 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 You're getting dandruff. I wish. Where is this town? Southwest of here. A place called Nugget City. Well, partner, let's get started. All right. Sold no liquor in that place. You knew that when you came into town, didn't you? What kind of a town is this? There's no more liquor being sold in Nugget City. And no more gambling. You're fined. $150 for toting a gun and for disturbing the peace. Got that much on you? No. Unsinch your saddle. Why should I? I'm holding it for bail. Not my saddle. Yes. I'm the mayor and justice of the peace in this town. You'll find I do whatever I please. Now the saddle. You think you can get away with a thing like this? You're crazy. You're going to find that out in a hurry, too, sister. You'll worry about that later. Come on, out of town. Now get out! Will you carry the saddle into my office? Pat, get a load of this sign. Nugget City Toll Gate. Fee, one dollar in and one dollar out. No admittance after sunset. Notice, no guns allowed in town. Check them here. A hundred dollars fine for violation. I wonder how this thing works. Very simple, gents. A cartwheel to get you in and another one to get you out. By whose authority? Mayor Colby. 
Then supposing we don't decide to pay? Don't make no difference to me. This is the only way in. If you want to go by, you pay and like it. Make up your minds. And, uh, you leave your guns here. Well, Stoney, you're an authority on women. What do you say? Well, I think we better do what the lady says. Well, where's my cartwheel? Now your guns? And you're right. The strangest thing I've ever run into. I feel undressed. <laughs> Get out. How far is it from here into town? Miles, straight ahead. Thanks. Hello. This isn't the darnest country. The women wear the pants and the men ride bareback. Get that gate open. You get your dollar up. I ain't paying nothing I'm going through. You wouldn't want to... Get away, guys, get I suppose you think I ought to thank you for that. That's up to you, ma'am. I thought you needed some help. I never need help. And here's your thanks. That goes for you, too. You know, Pat, sometimes I don't think you know how to handle women. Let's head for town. Okay, mister. Now get up your dollar and get. I haven't got a dollar. Then get back to town. Oh, pardon me, sir. Tell me where we could find the mayor. It's around the corner on the other side. There's a sign alongside the building. Thanks very much. Now, if you got business with the mayor, I advise you to make it short and to the point. Why? Because Miss Colby doesn't have much patience with men. And no patience at all with talkative men. Good luck. Miss Colby? A woman mayor? Sounds like it, doesn't it? Well, how do you like that? Sending us both to talk to a woman. Now, that sounds like a good waste of manpower. You know, Pat, I should have gone fishing. Yeah. Come on, let's get it over with, Tony. A woman mayor. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Pat. Why don't you find yourself a nice cafe now and get yourself a sandwich? Because I can handle these old maids better than you. How come? Oh, well, now, you know, when it comes to woman matters, I'm the guy. Now, I'll have this matter all straightened up in a matter of minutes. Can I do something for you? Yeah, would you mind telling that uh, old dried-up prune that happens to be the mayor of this town that we'd like to see her? Oh, I'm the dried-up old prune. Oh, you are? Well, well, you don't look like a dried-up old prune. In fact, you don't even look old. Say, by the way, how old are you? No gentleman ever asked a lady her age. Yeah, no lady hits with a right cross like that. I'll tell you what, uh... I'll get the sandwich. You talk to the mayor. I won't ask anybody their age, ma'am. Not even my own, I promise. You're a stranger in town. That's right. My name's Gallagher. I came here to ask you to take down that toll gate. Oh? What about the toll gate? Well, it's, it's on federal land, ma'am, and you'll have to tear it down. You'll have to ask me. Who are you? I'm a federal agent, and it's on federal land. What proof do you have that gate's on government land? What proof? Well, all you have to do, Miss Colby, is to look on a map. I'm not interested in looking at any maps. I'm interested in Nugget City. 
Since I've been mayor, things are different around here. Well, I'm sure they are, Miss Colby. Yeah. The women and children are getting a fair shake for a change. The men folks aren't wasting their wages on liquor and gambling. You're a lot of women, Miss Colby. But I'm going to have to go against you this time. You're a lot of men, mister. I'd like to see you try it. I think I will. I'll see you again, Miss Colby. Yeah. I'll so. Turbo, vice president. Well, well, well. If it isn't my old pal, her pal, Stony Crockett. <sighs> Never mind that old pal stuff. What's your racket now? Now, 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 Stony. This is different. I am now a special VP for one of the greatest achievements of history. <laughs> and you know me, always ready to cut an old friend in on something good. Always ready to cut an old friend's throat, too. Come on now, what's the pitch? Stoney, I am now in politics, working to secure for the little woman of America the right to vote. Don't you think they're giving us enough trouble now, especially in this town? <clears throat> now listen, my boy, there are millions of women who'll go for this idea, and they listen to any man who says he'll help them. So you form them into clubs, women's suffrage clubs. And from these clubs, <laughs> you collect dues. Oh, so that's the way you work it. Now, you take this town, for instance. Just about every woman in Nugget City should be a member of my club. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, Stoney, if you would like to invest a little money, I can give you a small territory, Arizona, and part of Texas, maybe. And then we'll split 50-50. After expenses. You little chiseler. You're nothing but a cheap fake, and you'll never be anything as long as you live. Put me down! Help! Murder! He's killing me! I'm gonna take you to jail! I'm not gonna do it anymore! Let me loose! Let me loose! I thought you were the man who knew how to handle women. Well, not when they come at you ten at a time, and they all had great big clubs. You know, the women in this town are maniacs, every darn one of them. What happens? Well, see, I run into this Zerbo, so I figure he's working some sort of a con game. So, so I, uh, I start to ask him about it, and, um, and all of a sudden, there's nothing but dames. They come out of, off the buildings and, and out of windows and out of the ground. I'm telling you, it's terrible. Tony, I guess it isn't as easy to handle women as you thought, is it? You can say that again. Hey, I'm going out to tear down that toll gate. You want me to go with you? No, you stay here. Enough, I'd kill 
kill that woman at the drop of a hat. Well, that won't be necessary, Bart. I hope nobody tempts me, that's all. Like today, she run me out of town bareback. And when I got to the toll gate, the other one wouldn't let me buy because I didn't have no money. Here, here, this will get you by, Bart. Well, thanks. But I still can't figure why you backed up that woman's reform campaign. Well, Bart, that's because you're not very bright between the years. Now, that reform campaign ran two big-shot gamblers out of town, so I was able to take over the places they were operating. Yeah, but now that you've got them, what are you going to do with them? <laughs> I intend to open them up again. Crystal Colby's term as mayor of this town is just about over. You mean the boys out of the mines are going to be able to come back? That's right. Oh, say, by the way, you can go out there right now if you want to and tell the boys to come in. Oh, uh, take my horse. It's all saddled up out here. Mr. Calhoun, you got a deal. How about some guns? Here. Here, take this one. Now, look. Don't use that gun until you get out of town. If you need another, the boys out at the mine will give it to you. All right, Smith, we'll stand up. Stand up. Stand up a slope. We're going inside, by the side way. Move. What's this? A stranger I caught outside listening at the window. Listening at the window, was he? Oh, I've seen this fellow before. He rode into town today. He and another man. What'll we do with him? Oh, we're gonna tie him up for now. And we're gonna gag him. Sit down. We'll get rid of him after dark. As soon as you get through with him, you can ride out to the shack and tell the men to come in town. the next one? Through my head? I will if you don't stop chopping down that gate. I don't think you will. And I'm not stopping. you would shoot me at that. Don't make any more moves. Sandy, this man's going to jail for destroying town property. Well, Crystal, he's kind of good looking fella. Too bad he ain't got more sense. Get on your horse, mister. All right, let's go, mister. Keep him covered, Sandy. Carry you later.
My, my. I don't know when I've seen you at such a loss for words. Oh, I'm really done. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> there. What you doing? Get me untied, quick. Oh, sure, sure. Now, remember, I'm your friend. Oh, yeah, sure. No hard feelings. Oh, no. And no charges against me? No. Promise? Yeah, I promise. Lady. Are you sure? Cross my heart and hope you die if you don't get my hands untied. Oh, oh, that's different. Lady. Hey, that was locked. Come on, out the side door. game you're playing, Crystal, but I got the feeling that you don't know much about this job of being a mayor. I don't know what you mean, Mr. Calhoun. I don't get your meaning. Well, I think it's about time you resigned, don't you? About time you settled down and became a woman. I'm not resigning for anyone. I intend to institute a new election. I don't understand this. You've been backing me all along, Calhoun. Why the sudden change? I can give you the answer to that one, ma'am. Your friend Calhoun here back up your reform campaign so he could buy up the gambling houses at a cheap price. Make it a pigeon out of you, Mayor. Yeah, now he wants to bring gambling back to Nugget City. Is this true? Simply a matter of good business, my dear. There isn't anything anybody can do about it. I think there's something I can do about it. What can you do? As I told Miss Colby, we're federal agents. Well, that doesn't give you any jurisdiction in this case. That's where you're wrong. The event of emergencies in territorial areas, we have the right to pick civil authority for the duration of that emergency. This is no emergency. Miss Colby seems to think it is. I certainly do. So I hereby appoint you mayor and justice of the peace of Nugget City. I think that's wonderful. And I promise you I'll keep gambling out of this town. You'll never make it stick, I can promise you that. I think we will. We'll drop the necessary papers before we leave town tomorrow. Yeah, you'd be lucky if you're able to leave town at all. And if you think I'm just talking, take a look down there. Those are my men riding into town under my orders, including some of the toughest gunfighters north of the Rio Grande. I'm running this town. All right, drop it. Gather out, kill her if you don't leave town. It's either you or her. your gun? Well, is it your gun? All right, so it's my gun. Check the numbers on that. See if they check with the one in your hat band. That's right, they check 79963. That's all I wanted to know. They're looking for you up in Canada, brother. 
And when they're through with you up there, we'll be waiting for you down here. Yeah, and by the time you get through, you're going to be an old man with a long beard. Or six feet under. Come on, let's get out of here. Sorry to see you go, Pat. You're going to tear down that toll gate, aren't you? Solid promise. What are you going to do with the money? The folks around here have been needing a church. Is that a good use for it? Best there is. Did you ever have anything like that happen to you before? Yeah, once it was up in Wyoming. A grizzly bear made a pass at me. I ran then, and I'm running now. Tony! Run for it, Pat! wonderful classic western film. It's brought to you here free by westernsontheweb.com, your home for hundreds of western movies, western TV shows, and original western webcast episode, and we do our best to keep it all family friendly. My name's Bob Terry. Have a great-tastic day, and we hope to see you again on Down the Trail. <laughs>